Hi YouTube. Haven't put on a video in a little while. I thought I'd show you a little project that I've been working on. This is a compact Presario C500 laptop that I picked up secondhand a while ago for practically nothing. When I got it, um, the person who sold it to me didn't know what it was working or not. It didn't have a charger and it had been sitting in, in actually in a box in pieces so I got it from virtually nothing. Um, it also had a trial version of Windows 8 on there. I've tried it a couple times, didn't like it. And anyhow, the, um, the trial license was expired, requiring you either to load another version of Windows or pay for Windows 8. And being a cheapskate, I wasn't about to pay for that. And I've never used Linux before, so what I decided to do was uh, just go ahead and, and load Linux on it. And um, first of all, to get it working, I had to get myself a... Uh, a charger and I, 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 I got lucky I went to one of my favorite thrift stores and I got uh, right here that's a charger for a Toshiba laptop I got it for 79 cents a little sticker still on there 79 cents uh, unfortunately it had a different it didn't come with the plug that goes into the wall and um, it didn't come with the correct plug that goes into the laptop itself. This was my big expense right here. I went down to uh, the source, as it's called in Canada, the Radio Shack in the U.S., and I found the correct source, um, an adapter type of deal that came with a wire attached to it. So I cut the original wire off and spliced it together. So I had that now fitting in the, into the uh, laptop, and I went to another junk shop, and for a couple of bucks, I got the correct type of wall plug. So that gave me juice. I plugged it in and sure enough it fired up. Uh, when I got it home, I actually had very little in the way of issues loading Linux 14 Mint on there. And um, I had a whole lot of issues trying to get it to recognize the wireless card in this laptop. Um, eventually I did. I, I had to download Windows drivers, put them on there, and it, it seems to be working quite well. Physically, the only thing wrong with the uh, laptop is it's missing the B key. Not a big deal. Um, works just fine anyway. Uh, one thing that I find really cool is that it. Uh, I now have an 80 gig hard drive that has 76 gigabytes of space free, as opposed to when it had Windows on there, would would have virtually nothing free. So there's lots of room to play around on there. It also came with a photo editing program called GIMP. And I, I do a little bit of amateur photography and obviously wanted to play with it with uh, photo editing software, but it was too cheap. So this is a, a very inexpensive way into it, in my case, being free virtually. Um, my daughter did went to the dollar store with me, and uh, she found a little package of stickers that I apparently are designed to stick on the back of of laptops and notebooks and that sort of thing. In this case, she put every single one of them on there. What I did find ironic was there was one on here showing somebody with a bandaged finger, and at this moment, I have a broken finger. Kind of ironic. Anyway, it's a fun little toy. I haven't used it a lot, but it does work. And uh, I'm now starting my adventure with Linux. And uh, I'm gonna go from there, hopefully, everything's fine and I can use it for a little bit more than I am now which is just surfing the internet. Anyway that's about it and I hope everyone out there has a great day. Bye bye.